Good afternoon. This is Lisa Cummings with Interdine Artists, and I am a client strategy manager. And I appreciate everybody for joining us to view the solving the top three recruiting and training management challenges webinar. Um, the presentation will be presented by Sean Pomeroy, who is with Visibility Software. Hello. Hey, Sean, how are you today? Doing wonderful. Awesome. So just a few housekeeping items. First, we'll go through introductions. Obviously, I just introduced Sean Pomeroy, um, who will be doing our great presentation today. Then if you can, just save your questions for the end of the um, session and we'll have a little Q&A session where we can answer questions that anybody may have. And we will also be recording the event today and we'll be putting it out on our webinar site so that it can be viewed um, later if you would like to review it again. And then if you could just, uh, there we go. So also don't forget if you haven't registered for Summit 2018, the GP user group, um, it's registration is still open. The event will be held October 15th through the 18th in Phoenix, Arizona. And we would love to see you there. And if you have already registered and we don't know it, please let us know so that we can make sure that you get on our um, communications and let you know events that are going on during summit while you're there. So at this time, I'm going to hand it over to Sean and let him get started with the presentation. Great, thank you very much. Uh, we've got a lot to cover in a short period of time um, and some time for questions. So if you have questions, feel free to type them in and we'll, uh, we'll jump on those at the end. If we aren't able to get to the answers to that, we will follow up with you directly. A quick agenda. We're going to talk about completing your HR solution. We're going to look at the top three recruiting challenges. And these aren't all of them, and they aren't in any necessary order, but we're going to talk about kind of the top recruiting challenges. We're going to look at um, a solution that will help solve a lot of those briefly. Then we're going to look at uh, kind of the top training management challenges and, as we said, have some, uh, some Q&A kind of what the next steps are after today's webinar if you are interested in learning more or moving further down the road in solving of your problems. So I always like to start off talking about completing your HRMS or HIS or HR solution, whichever you would like. Um, big term right now is talent management, so you can also replace talent management solution. I look uh, as a former HR generalist at kind of HR technology as kind of like a table it really uh, is made up of, of four legs. That includes HR, believe it or not, payroll, not because of the money side, but because of the shared employee data between HR and payroll. And the other two pieces we're going to talk about more today are recruiting and training management. And what I try to do for a lot of our clients is make sure that they're able to get kind of this summary or this listing here first before you get into some of the other more complex pieces of of the hr solution which can be employee and manager self-service email-based alerts paperless workflow time management or time tracking those often can be added once you have kind of this solution piece so just a wet appetite um, we are going to be talking about two of the legs today the recruiting and training management and having been in the industry for a little over 20 years with technology what we find still today the number one challenge for about 70 to 75% of the clients that come to us is the drowning in manual processes. So a lot of organizations are still doing recruiting um, with paper, Outlook, and Excel. So being able to have your requisition creation, approval, uh, having applicants apply online, being able to onboard them through the task management forms, all the way through updating information, and of course reporting, all of that can be much, much more difficult if you're doing it on paper um, or even in a homegrown type system. But if you get the appropriate tool, you're able to kind of automate a lot of this and focus 
primarily in recruiting on being an ambassador for your organization, understanding what the hiring manager's needs are beyond daily task lists and being able to interact more with candidates and understand what's driving them. The second biggest challenge we see, especially in the tight job market right now, is how much a bad candidate experience can affect your recruiting. I tell our clients to go out to your website every, say, three months and apply. Look at what, how you're being represented. And it starts off with something as simple as how many clicks to find the jobs that are available from your website. So you need to start to put yourself in the candidate's shoes because they are evaluating you as a business potentially more than you are evaluating them as a candidate. And bad candidate experience starts with finding the jobs. How long does it take to apply? Is all the information that you're asking needed today? And is it needed for that specific position? What happens with additional communication? In other words, are you communicating to them, thanking them, updating them, thanking them if they're not selected? So there's a lot of pieces that get into the candidate experience that can be done uh, with or without a system but it's a lot easier and can automate a lot of it with the system. We'll talk about some of those in just a second. The third one that we find to be the biggest challenge that I've talked a little bit about in the candidate side is poor communication. Poor communication is not just between you and the candidate, but you, the hiring manager, your current employees, um, HR, senior management. So there's a lot of players in the recruiting process. And typically the biggest challenge is recruiting uh, in the recruiting pieces is, is really communication. And so how do you help connect all those players uh, in the process? So those are kind of the, what we see as typically the three biggest challenges. Now, other ones that are out there include things like sourcing. Um, you can get into motivation. You can get into rewards. You can get into employee referral. There's a lot of other areas that can be challenging, but these tend to be the top ones that have a ripple effect in other areas. So before I kind of give you a quick snapshot on how those can be addressed with a, with a recruiting tool or an ATS, an applicant tracking system, I want to do just a quick foundational piece so you get an idea if you've not used an ATS or if you've not seen a full kind of soup to nut type recruiting platform, I want to kind of give you kind of a, a quick snapshot on that. So in this scenario, the ability to create those recs or your openings with Cyber Recruiter, you can actually empower the managers to do that from a job library. So it's a wizard that walks them through, or HR can continue to do that. Once that position has been fully created, Cyber Recruiter helps the, with the communication piece by allowing approval process via email. So this is an example email that gets sent out from the system. And what's nice is it allows for the ability for the approver to be spoon-fed all the information and from the actual uh, email be able to approve or deny it. So they don't have to log into the system. And that increases your stakeholder engagement, meaning all the people that are involved. So again, you've got the creation, the approval process. Once fully approved, it'll take that information and automatically post it up on your website. So you don't need a webmaster, it's not a PDF, it's live and it's connected. So if you change the job, it changes on the website and the ability to advertise. In the good old days, it was called the classifieds. Now it's called job board. And so you're able to push that job out to lots of free and paid job boards, of course you have to pay for the paid ones, with a key of having all applicants who see that job click on a link from those job boards and come back to your website apply. While the applicants can apply both online, we also support kiosks, but we also support sourcing by HR or the recruiter. So if you go in and you find a resume somewhere, you can literally clipboard it into Cyber Recruiter. It'll extract everything from that resume, create a profile, and email the person asking if they're still interested in employment. So again, you get kind of this efficiency that allows you to really focus more on better job descriptions related to goals instead of tasks, and making sure you get the right person in the right job. 
Now, once that position's out there, people are applying. With Cyber Recruiter, you get the ability to build unlimited knockout questions. So you're getting more than just a resume or a LinkedIn profile. You can start to ask questions that you don't want to ask 50 questions, but you definitely want to ask three to five questions. It will help do the first round of filtering. Um, once those people are filtered down, the ability to route them via email is important because, again, it spoon feeds the manager. The manager is used to using email. They don't have to log into the system. They can see everything related to that applicant from their resume to their knockout questions, to their application. And from the email, they can actually click on what their response is. And those responses include dispositions. So you're now getting a full timeline of everything being recorded, everything's being automated, everything's being routed. You add to that, those that make it past the routing and are interested in interviewing, you have the ability then to schedule that interview, update calendars, and even send an interview evaluation survey link. So after the interview's over, you're able to gather the feedback. And that's not just important for the initial decision, but the ability to be able to store all of that, search on it, and include it in future searches. So you're able to leverage all applicants for today's opening, but also maintain a searchable database when a new opening occurs later. Once that evaluation has been done, the ability to put it in an offer, have it email-based approval, and then have that detail be included in an offer letter or an offer form and sent to the candidate. And then signing and gathering not only all of the additional information that you need from that candidate, now an employee, but being able to also handle all the task management items. Uh, in other words, all those other things that have to happen when you onboard someone like setting up an email, ordering business cards, getting an ID or a parking pass. All of those types of things can be managed and checklisted within Cyber Recruiter. So the efficiency becomes part of the after effect. I always like to say that people don't typically buy an applicant tracking system or a recruiting platform because they want a recruiting platform. They buy it for all of these other pieces. And the joke is nobody ever bought a drill because they wanted a drill. They buy a drill because they want a hole. The same is true with recruiting and training management tools. So hopefully that gives you a good platform of things to consider and think about as you're evaluating or as you're looking at your recruiting process. So let's take a minute or two just to see it in action. So here's the sample career page where you've got Stark Industries. The candidate can read about your organization, understand your culture, and have a simple link to your current opening. In this example, we're walking that candidate through a selection process. If you only have about 10 jobs or so, you probably don't need this, but it's very helpful when you have multiple locations or more than 10 jobs. I can, as the applicant, go all the way to read about the position and go right into applying. And it starts off with the loading of a resume and extracting all that information. So instead of keying everything in, notice you didn't even have to create a password or a user account yet. You want to make it as easy as possible for that candidate experience. And here you can see it's a walkthrough. So it's a step-by-step -step gathering what you need today and keeping track of that and saving it at each step of the application. All of what you see here is fully configured so that you can gather what you need as an organization and get what you need to make the next decision in the recruiting process. And the cool part is the application piece, you can have as many different applications for different types of jobs. So you no longer have to ask questions of all applicants that relate to a specific opening or type of job. Now, if I pop from there over into the product, let's look at a few features here just to kind of keep in mind. First and foremost, there is a beautiful way to kind of create a requisition, and it's a nicely defined wizard that will walk through your manager, walk the manager or yourself through the creation of that rec. Once it's created and approved, post on your website. And as the recruiter, you can come over to your inbox, be able to easily see all the people who applied and made it through the knockout question, and you choose these columns so that you can see what you need to see to move forward. Now for me, I have the ability then to come down, say pull up a resume of a particular individual, 
read that resume, be able to review those people who applied, see what their desired salary is, and just check mark a couple of people that you can either email back and ask questions by typing them in or using a template, or go ahead and route these two individuals right onto the manager for their evaluation and continuing the process. So this inbox gives you a nice starting point for all active incoming, but you also have the ability to kind of come into the system. Let's say the rec was just created this morning, and you can go straight into the searching component. So you can do what we call left uh, kind of um, runner-up hiring, right? So you've got three people who make it to the final stage. You offer the first person a job, they take it. You have two other people that are still in there in the database that you might want to search. So highly definable searches, you can save them. You have the ability then to come in and run a search. And from that search, you can again go in and pull up resumes. I can even right click, pull up doc in a new tab. You can do multi-tab, multitasking. And I can go over here, look at Doc Holiday, either navigate through his information, like references or resume or application. I can see what he applied to and all of his recruiting activity on one screen. I can even navigate through the other people that I found in my search, go back to my search, and be able to go ahead and take two of these folks that were in our applicant pool or database and either email them asking them questions or route them on to the manager. So again, you have the ability and the efficiency of creating the rec, posting it, getting the applicant to apply. Uh, being able to search through all of your applicant pool and then even work within that requisition system. So here's all of the recs. I can go straight into a, a particular requisition, see all 16 people that applied, even be able to group these 16 that applied for the manager role. And it worked then with all of the new applicants that just came in, being able to, again, I can even route them, email them, copy them to a new opening. So the key with a recruiting platform like Cyber Recruiter is to give you a one-stop shop hub for connecting to your website, connecting it to candidates. You have the ability to load in your employees and have your employees both as internal applicants and be able to empower them to do employee referrals. So you've got a great platform that will help you manage and keep track of a lot of the core recruiting challenges so you can focus on some of those other items. So not sure if you have any questions about recruiting, but uh, the last thing I wanna show you is some reporting. So you've got a lot of standard reports built in, always something to think about when you're looking at a product or a platform. And what's cool is all of our standard reports are available in the reporting tool. And once you modify those reports the way you want them, all of them are available then to be able to build out your own dashboards. So you can have dashboards that give you kind of a, a high overview of what's going on in the system. And that can be everything from jobs open by month, by location, applicant activity, outstanding items, system has built in alerts and reminder emails. Um, but this gives you the ability to get insight into what's happening and what's not happening. So let's go ahead and take a brief um, moment to kind of change gears a little bit and let's go in and now and look at the top training management challenges in no particular order. Now, what you'll find is it's always the first one we see is a, is a lack of processes, a lack of structure, and a lack of a system. And so they tend to be drowning in managing the requirements, both compliance type and other skill based. And so a system will help you, again, keep track of everything, give access to everybody, uh, which is the second piece, so that your employees can log in and see what they're supposed to be doing or taking. Managers can make sure that they're managing their people and their people are doing training in a timely fashion instead of waiting until the very, uh, until the very end, which is typically the review. And the manager says to HR, hey, um, has, has my employee done all the training they need and are they up to date on their certifications? Well, probably not. Um, and so this gives you the third access or third challenge is lack of strategy. We see a lot of CEOs or um, C-suite people telling HR, you need to be training employees. Well, where do you start? 
and that's a big piece that we work with clients on is what is the importance factor and how do you track it. Now, let's take a quick second to just talk about some of the things to consider when you're looking at a training management platform. Um, first and foremost, uh, when you're looking at training management is access to the employee data. So the cool part is Cyber Recruiter and Cyber Train interact with about a dozen HR products, including, of course, the Microsoft Dynamics GP and others, depending on what they're using. But we're able to pull both hire from Cyber Recruiter into your HR. We're also able to pull the employee data from HR, so you don't have to rekey new hires, job changes, supervisor changes. All of that then gets used by Cyber Train to assign requirements. So you can have consistency by having everybody in your organization with the same job code or within the same division, department, or location, uh, or other team, whatever org levels you'd like, have the same requirements. So it's really nice to be able to have new hires know exactly what they need to take. If someone gets promoted or changes jobs or location, the, the system will automatically update. The system also includes all the notification and reminders so you're not waiting until that commercial driver's license expires or certification is about to expire. You know 90 days before or 60 days before. And that email goes to the manager, the employee, and HR. So again, lots of reminders in both Cyber Recruiter and Cyber Train, along with being able to deploy training, both in-person, web-based meetings like today's webinar, on demand, where you can go in and record presentation and make it an on-demand type thing that your employees can go in and see at any time along with on the job. The system includes the ability to test so you can make sure there was knowledge transfer. The person was actually awake uh, during the training, uh, either live training or on video or on demand. But you also do surveys. How was the material? What did you think of this course? Um, so it does give you a lot of feedback. And of course, the ability to manage and track all things related to training. Credentials, which can be certifications, licensure, we talked about commercial driver's license, but it also allows you to manage professional memberships, be able to keep track of educational assistance or reimbursement if your company offers that as a benefit, and even manage re training requirements or requests from outside of the organization. So if an employee wants to take a class, but wants to take it from someone else. Um, so it gives you the ability to kind of keep track of all those pieces. Now, let's take a few minutes just to look at Cyber Train before we come back to questions and answers. So I'm going to come back over into my Google Chrome. I'm going to go ahead and log in. Just give you a quick tour. I will tell you that we do have, um, if you're interested in any of these solutions and want to learn more, uh, obviously the team uh, that uh, we partner with here, and there's a slide coming up on a second that'll tell you who to t who to chat with and how to how to do next steps. We can talk about doing better understanding of what your concerns are, your challenges, how Cyber Recruiter Cyber Training can help, and even provide you additional information. So we'll we'll be able to follow up after. Here's a, an example of kind of Cyber Train, and when someone logs in for the very first time, they're taken to this messages area. So they know what they need to do or if there's any outstanding items like tests or surveys. From the left-hand side, they can easily go in and see their current training or classes that they're enrolled in. The ability within the system to go in and read about how to use the system. Go in and see any attachments like study guides or other information. Be able to relaunch an on-demand training or be able to take a test or a survey. So, all of this is employee-driven self-service type items. The manager would have access to see any of the people who report to them and interact with the system. We handle internal instructors and empower them with the capability of interacting with other folks in the organization. So everything on the left side is self-service. Everything across the top is really in the for the HR side. And that includes things like all the code tables, but what I like is if you currently have training information and you're using Excel to keep track of it, you have the ability to come down to processes and you can come in and you can import not only your employees and non-employee, you can go in and import requirements if you already have them, or just the history of what people have taken and any credentials that you might be managing. 
all from Excel. So the tool is powered not only for ongoing use, but also make it easy for you to go from what you're using today to an online platform. And built into the system is all of the information that can be managed for, for the curriculum. So all your course catalog, uploading of your content if it's on demand, being able to combine those into programs, and even be able to assign different credentials. Now, we built Cyber Train as a platform, so we don't actually provide any content, but we partner with a company called Open Sesame. So if you're looking for any kind of content, they have a great library, kind of like Amazon, a little over 20,000 titles or content training that you can buy, um, either a la carte or you can do the buffet style. So lots of options to be able to get your training in. We provide you with a copy of a product called Snagit that allows you to record your screens with audio. So you can record how to process something, maybe payroll or a loan if you're a bank, and then the ability to put that kind of training that you might do live and turn it into on-demand. So part of what we do is help clients transition from paper to an online platform, and that's part of our specialty. So a lot to look at in here, including the same thing with lots of reports. I even have dashboards so that you can go in and manage and track um, all of the pieces uh, in one snapshot. So here's a sample dashboard that gives you training completed by year, by month, along with expiring and expired credentials, mapping of uh, items, um, any wait listing, trainings by department, even survey kind of responses. So the dashboards are really up to you after you use standard reports, tweak them to get the information in the format that you want, you can then add them to unlimited dashboards. So it's just as important to have a product to help you have structure and to manage your process it's also important to be able to see what's happening and what's not happening within that process. So I know we have, uh, we're kind of running out of time, so I wanted to see if there are any questions before uh, we wrap up. Uh, any questions so far? Yes, we do have a couple of questions. So the first question that we have is, can we give our hiring managers access to the system to review candidates? Ah. Great question. So the nice thing about Cyber Recruiter is that it's not licensed by user. So uh, your receptionist can have limited access to handle any applicant calls that come in. Your managers can have access to key and recs, or, and the security is very flexible. So they can key in recs, be able to view applicants, do searches. What we decided when we built the system was to empower you and your processes and how your team works versus uh, trying to figure that out. So all of your managers can log in, they can have as much or as little access as you would like. So lots of flexibility there. Very good. So another question we have is, does the onboarding process include forms, such as tax, II, et cetera? Ah, great question. So what we found as, as, as uh, having been in the industry and having been HR generalists uh, uh, and HR people, is that if you just hand a bunch of people PDFs or forms, they don't always know how to fill them out. So Cyber Recruiter includes the ability to build out an unlimited question questionnaire. So you can put as many questions in there. They can be related to forms or other data that you wanna gather, like shoe size or uniform size. All of that detail is stored then in Cyber Recruiter, and we overlay that to unlimited fillable PDFs so the employee will see their data, their information in its native format on an I-9, for example, and can then digitally sign it. And there's an approval process within HR to make sure it was completed properly. So you most definitely, uh, it handles onboarding for that, plus the task part. Very nice. Um, another question. Does Cyber Recruiter interface with Dynamics GP? Yes, it does. So that is a, a great question. So you do have the ability to hire from Cyber Recruiter directly into the, the GPHR module um, so that you don't have to rekey that information. And that's part of kind of having a connected best of breed type solution. That's great. Um, our employees are required to complete a certain number of training hours each year. Can the system track that? 
Yes. So there's a couple of different ways. So I think it's a great question that probably needs a few more questions to better answer it. But the short answer is, yes, it can. It can track it by different categories or programs. Uh, it also gives you the ability to run full reports or what often is called transcripts so that you can see exactly what a person um, completes within a certain time period. So you definitely can do that. We have lots of clients that have to kind of meet those types of requirements. Okay, and the last question I have is, can we track certifications that are expiring? Most definitely. And what's cool is when you set up the, the main code for the certification, you put in how much lead time you might need to renew it or to keep it from expiring. So the alerts that go out, go out based upon that certification expiring. So if, if something takes, you know, 30 days, great. You just want to be notified. You got 30 days to get something renewed before it expires. If it takes longer, you can continue to increase that, let's say out to 90 days so that again, it gives everybody enough lead time before it expires. And you can track all of those different types of certifications based on your industry or organization. Great. Well, I guess this concludes our webinar today. And um, I apologize, I should have said at the beginning um, that Chelsea Fulop and Ashley Canali were on the call with us as well. And if you do have any follow-up questions or would like to discuss the um, visibility software uh, further, then here is our contact information. You can contact your client strategy manager and we can help you with those questions or pricing or anything you would like to know about the product. And Sean, thank you for your time today on presenting the webinar. Thank you for the opportunity. I hope everybody has a great rest of the week. All right, great. Thank you.